So here's a snake, this uh, Homolopsis bucata. Actually, probably Homolopsis nigroventralis. I can't even tell. Yeah, it has a black belly. So it's covered in mud, so you're not gonna be able to get a good look at it. Although I could probably put a little water on it. That's a little better. So what happens is a lot of these uh, water snakes, these aquatic snakes, they go down into the mud as the water level drops. They don't exactly um, come out of the water and try to escape, but they just kind of find refuge down in the mud. Beautiful snake. Nice demeanor, fat. <laughs> And they're really different up here, like I've said so many times in my videos. They have that black belly, unlike the homolopsis that you may see in the hobby occasionally. So, that's pretty cool. So there's our snake. I'm sure there's more, but these guys are looking for fish. So they're kind of pushing around the mud with their feet. They're looking for the big snake heads, of course, because they taste good. <laughs> so, we just... I am cooking this fish, jungle style, barbecue fish, snake heads. All right, very fresh snake head. It doesn't get any fresher than this. It's hot. Right off the fire. Ooh. Good. So a lot of the smaller fish, those are going to be eaten whole, probably dried in the sun or, or cooked. And the little tiny fish just eat the whole thing, kind of crunchy, kind of like a french fry or whatever, but they're, they're pretty tasty. And then the bigger fish like this get barbecued or prepared in different ways, Thai style of course. But this is very basic, just a barbecue. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It wasn't super exciting. Actually, these guys are going to hit up another old man that has some other fish pond in a different area. See if he wants their services and they'll split up the fish. They'll do all the work for doing this to his pond. Apparently it hasn't been done in a very long time and there's a very wide variety. So I don't know if that's gonna happen, but they're gonna hit them up tonight and we may be doing that tomorrow. But anyway, the water is all drained out. I checked the weather forecast. It's actually supposed to rain two days from now. So the day after tomorrow, this thing's gonna be already filled back up with water. There's plenty of fish still in there. There's probably eggs and larvae and all kinds of stuff. So this thing's gonna fill back up with water. All those fish are gonna replenish and um, it'll be another viable fish pond for another day. But anyway, that's about it for us today. And you know what, you guys, we're doing this in between, doing inspections and walkthroughs of our house and having meetings about money and all this stuff. So we're just kind of like doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that and just kind of mixing it all up. We even went to the land office today to get Apple's name added onto the house book, onto the property, like a registered, um, like a resident registered address. 
So anyway, we're just knocking it all down. We'll do some more stuff again tomorrow. We're gonna get out trekking tomorrow night with these guys. These are the guys that take us out and we find all the snakes. So we have big plans for tomorrow, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.